Hey everybody, it's Dawn Marie Moonlight Princess. Happy new moon, blessed new moon. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Okay, so <clears throat> cards are already pre-shuffled. So while I'm getting ready, I'm gonna bake a little bit. And while I'm baking, I'm gonna get myself <laughs> bacon. <laughs> while I'm baking, I'm gonna um, get all my spiely shit out there to you. Spiely shit. I'll start with that. I have a potty mouth. So I love you guys so much, but I do have quite a sailor truck driver potty mouth. So you could either deal with it or I tell people you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Look, it's not all that bad. It's a lot of fun. It's a good time, right? <laughs> it's a good time in this place. I got a potty mouth, but that's just it. Um. This will not resonate with everybody. When I do a reading, especially when it's for like a Pisces or Scorpio or Gemini or something like that, it is not gonna resonate with anybody. It is only gonna resonate with a select collective of that group. If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. Look at the other placements in your chart, pick one of those and take it from there. But some people may have one thing resonate, some people may have the whole thing resonate. Just take what fits, that's it. Do not hold on to anything that does not. Put it in your mental junk drawer, but just take what fits, okay? And if it does resonate and you're like, oh shit, man, I wish I could go deeper, you can. Hit me up. All my information's in the box below. I do $20 private YouTube readings. If you wanted a video chat reading, my rates are really good. I mean, I'm telling you, I know a lot, you know, what a lot of readers are charging out there, and I promise you, I'm not trying to rip people off because it's my energy. Yeah, I know what the fuck I can do. I know I'm accurate as fuck. And just because of that, I don't have the attitude you know, and it's just, the, that's a little soapbox I'm sitting on right now because I love to watch YouTube tarot readers. Um, but lately I find that a lot of these readers will sit there and be like, um, there's not enough likes in this room. And if you don't have enough likes, uh, I'm not going to do the reading anymore. Or spirit's not going to bless you. Excuse me? Fuck every single one of you. And I don't give a fuck if you're watching me right now. Fuck every single one of you readers who are threatening people out there that if they don't like you, they're not going to be blessed. Fuck you and your scare tactics. That's bullshit. And y'all the bitches that are going to get karma, I could tell you that right now. I've seen way too many. That seems to be the thing lately. Let me threaten my audience to like and share and subscribe by telling them I'm going to curse them or they're not going to, or spirit's going to curse them. Get the fuck out of here. I wish a bitch would. Let me tell you right now. I wish a bitch would. Ain't nobody cursing nobody. For if you like my video, great. If you don't like it, what am I going to do? I'm going to bless you either way because that's what spirit wants me to do. Fuck this other shit. So with that being said, my prices are very, very ridiculously reasonable. You want to go deeper in a reading? You hit me the fuck up. Seriously, I'm so over these these readers who just think way too. They think they're these things, and because they they think they talk to animals and birds. And shut the fuck up. We all do, bitch. The birds come to me too. The animals, the horses, they all come to. Shut up. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm just on like this thing right now because I'm seeing lately a lot of readers do this, and it's aggravating me. Where's my weed? Sorry, I gotta get this reading started, but. This is an empty. Don't do not tease me, spirit. This is like a sick joke. This okay? No, it's something in it. Sorry, my mistake. My bad. My bad. Okay, so let's get this. All right, what else do I have to say for my spiel? It's not gonna resonate with everybody. Information's in the box below. Oh yeah, and again, I'm not gonna curse nobody. But if you could, I would absolutely love if you hit the like, share, subscribe. Tell me about your friends. Leave a comment. Any little bit helps my channel. So would I be grateful? Yes, I would be so, 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 so grateful. Am I going to sit up there and, and... I told this motherfucker to bring me my fire when he was done. Now that's someone I will curse because... This motherfucker. Yeah. Can I have my fire? Yeah. I told you when you took my fire to bring me my fucking fire back. Four, four, four on the clock. And we're going to get into this reading, but trust me, I need my weed. Thank you. You're welcome. So. Okay, so. If it resonates, hit me up. Any questions, please like, share, subscribe.
I did my dab. Now I'm ready to go. So let's get started with this reading. I think that was the whole spiel I had to give out of them. <laughs> For Pisces spirit. Thank you. For Pisces. That's coming up <coughs> during this new month for Pisces. Going into the second half of October. Not even. Like the second week, not the second half. <coughs> Got some this is some love. And I and I and I really believe it's love, Pisces, because <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That's that dab. <coughs> So far, both cards that came out are cups, and that's usually dealing with emotions. But let's see. Wow. Come on. Okay, well, let's see if we can get another couple cards out. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and start. Let's see if we can get one more spirit, please. Thank you. Okay. So the bottom of the deck. The magician reverse is showing up at the bottom of the deck. This is a card of Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini Pisces or uh, you could have Gemini in your chart or it could just be the overall energy. When Pisces, uh, when Pisces, when the magician is showing up reverse, this is a card of some kind of manipulation or trickery. Somebody could be um, <coughs> being dishonest, or that's the energy going on, some kind of manipulation. Somebody might be trying to undermine your achievements. When I said that, it was 222 on the clock. So somebody may have just not have good intentions. They may be ungrounded, unrealistic. It's just, this is just a card of not good intentions. That's the overall energy, Pisces, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. I had a, I had a way for the spirit to clarify what order to put that card in because that was tripping me out a little bit. But this reading itself is filled with cups. So that's why I'm telling you, I really believe. Let me just put write this down here for a second. Spirit in a second has this energy. Um, okay. Now. Pisces, definitely your reading because the first two cards I'm going to address to you that came out was the Knight of Cups, but it's reversed, but this is a card of Pisces, could be Aquarius. Then we have the Five of Swords um, reversed, and let me just get the sign in this for you. I believe it's a Libra, but let me see. Now, again, Aquarius, we have a lot of Aquarius energy. So Pisces and Aquarius energy going on here. With these two cards. Uh, let's see. Now, <coughs> because both cards are reversed, one is a negative, one's a positive, that automatically balances for me. So what I'm seeing is there was a Knight of Cups, this Pisces, Aquarius energy. This person may have been a heartbreaker. Um, they, maybe they breadcrumbed you. They didn't give you the kind of love back that you were giving them. This person may have been commitment phobic. They didn't want to, you know, they just did, they didn't want to commit for shit. Um, you may have believed you were like this person may have had you thinking you were in a relationship and you really weren't. It's a lot of just, you know, just really fucked up shit. But next to it's the five of swords reverse. This is a card. Listen, when it's like this, somebody's trying to win at all costs. Fuck up mental confusion. And, you know, winning at all costs. I mean, mental fuckery. This is like, look, he's got a motherfucking migraine. People gossiping in his ear, making all kinds of trouble. But now you're like this. So whoever this Knight of Cups was, this heartbreaker, he, it, I'm showing Pisces, this person wants to come out of that. They want to come out of that that energy, that that five of swords. They want to have no no more conflict. They want to bring peace of mind. Notice how he, there's no peace of mind here. Look how he's holding his head. They want to bring peace of mind. 
So they might be coming forward to you. Because now when the knight traversed, he's no good. He's stuck. He's a piece of shit. But now this person wants to turn. That's why I'm telling you. He wants to bring peace of mind. It's almost like he's coming back to the upright position to move forward. The knight moves forward. You understand? So that's what I'm seeing. He wants to move forward to you with an apology. Because this automatically is switching to this now next to this card. He wants to come in. This, pair, this person who didn't give you nothing before wants to come in with an apology to you. They want to give you peace of mind. Maybe it's give you peace of mind. Maybe it's give them peace of mind, Pisces. But they want to give somebody a peace of mind. Now, maybe they want to give somebody a piece of their mind. But I don't think, I don't think it's c conflicted or combative. You know what I'm trying to say? I really don't because it's in the reverse position. You got a king and a queen here. This is nice, Pisces. We have someone that's in the four of cups position. Um, this is a card of cancer. Again, more water energy. This is someone who's kind of thinking very pessimistically. They're, they're thinking things is the cup half empty instead of half full. When, you know, this bitch didn't even realize she's got all these fucking cups. This one's half empty, but all these motherfucking cups got some good shit in it. But she's too busy feeling sorry for herself, okay? But what I'm seeing is, see, I'm liking this king and this queen. Pisces, this is you, the king of cups. Again, doesn't have to be a king. You could be a queen. Whoever you are, it doesn't matter. Put it, everything's, just remember everything's interchangeable. Everything is fluid. If I say male, that's what I forgot to say in the beginning. Male could be female. Female could be male. Emperor could be empress. It don't matter. Just take it where it fits. But there's a king of cups here. This is Pisces. That's literally a card of Pisces. Very emotional, very stable. Someone who's in a very, very zen. Look how zen they are. They could be spiritual. See the light surrounding their head. But they're very, very stable. And they got a big, big cup. You know, and they want to give the cup. And look what's right next to this king. Oh, I guess I'm excited. Look what's next. Pisces. There's a queen of pentacles. Now, again, what did I just say? Could be a king. A king. Of, that's, that's no fucking joke. The king and the queen of, let me tell you something. The king and the queen of pentacles are no joke because they are the last cards right before the emperor and the empress in the tarot deck. So, <clears throat> especially when they're upright like this, we have, this is a card of Virgo, okay? Hold on a second. Okay, so with this card, this again is someone who's honest and they're grounded. Just like I said about that king, he's very solid. This is someone who's honest and grounded. Um, this person is very independent. They could be a businesswoman or a businessman. They could have their own business or just be kind of the boss. Do you know what I mean? Um, this person loves, because of the pentacles, they love the finer things in life. They love to have nice cars, nice maybe, you know, bags or shoes, name brands. Um, they definitely like their space. They're independent. So it's like they, they love to love, but don't, they don't like clingy. You understand what I'm saying? But they love to love. Um, this person is definitely very loyal. And what, on the spiritual end of it, this person may liter literally be a witch or a healer. So they may possess some kind of healing or, or magic, literal magic. They may be great manifestors. But this person, because they're the queen or king of pentacles, they're abundant as fuck. So they can manifest whatever they want. Do you understand? This is the kind of energy showing up with the Pisces card. Okay, card of Virgo. Now, again... Could be a Virgo you're dealing with, Pisces. Could be, you know, Virgo in their chart. I, like, I'm a Scorpio, but I have a Virgo moon. You understand? So it's like, so sometimes I look at Virgo's um, readings because I'll find my stuff in there. Same concept with when I tell you the signs. Could be you, could be the other person, could just be the energy. So now we have this king and this queen with this beautiful, beautiful energy and right next to it, the Hierophant. The Hierophant, right with the king and the queen. This is a card of commitment awakening higher level of commitment the hierophant is 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 like okay you know how there's the high priestess card hierophant is like the high priest card that's the pope card this is the you know the the guy you got you know, he's the high priest you get married you go to the priest you know what i mean if, if you're just gonna learn spirituality you go to the priest you know that this is it this is enlightenment commitment taking something to the next level 
Hierophant. What sign? Let me just see the sign on the Hierophant. I always forget this shit. Taurus. Okay. Taurus. But this is definitely someone who is, is uh, seeking guidance, you know? And in, right there, there's a... Pisces, something, look, so it looks like something's coming your way. And maybe with this Four of Cups, you're unsure about it. Maybe you're nervous. Maybe you want to, but, you know, I said it's looking at cup half empty. May, you know, you may be in a position or your person may be in a position, but like, I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. But you want it. But the cards are telling you it's going to be a beautiful union. But somebody, to me, is sitting in unsurety about it. Hold on. Okay. Let me, um, I'm going to pull on those. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I just had to look. I want to make notes and do some things. So, all right. I'm going to use my Golden Girl deck now. Let's see what else, Pisces. So who is it, Pisces? Is it you? <clears throat> That's the King of Cups or the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just real curious. Or oh, the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry. I said a king, didn't I? That's right, because we had that Nine of Cups in the beginning. The King of Cups. I was right the first time. Don't mind me. I didn't see it was The Knight of Cups was actually covering the King one, so. Yeah, it's like before, whoever this negative energy was, before was the Knight of Cups. Reversed. But now they are coming back as the King of Cups. And that it's like he went, he or she, whoever they are, went from a knight to a king and went upright. That's exactly what I just heard. Wow. All right. But still somebody isn't sure about this. Somebody's like, ah, I don't know about this shit. They're not trusting it. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Somebody is not trusting it because of what happened before. Thank you, spirit. They felt there was manipulation. There was dishonesty. Something was ungrounded. So it's not being fully trusted at the moment. Thank you, spirit. I'm going to pull a couple. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Pisces. this okay mm. oh One, two, three. sorry I, I just as i see it coming it starts to, and then you have the time it i think it makes sense and then as i'm going spirit just switches it all up on me so that's ironic that it came out like that okay let's see one more oh thank you spirits okay Let's get down to business now. Let's continue on to what have I already told you, Pisces. Listen to what I got for you. Just, just fucking listen. Just fucking listen. Let me see what card. I know we had that Knight of Cups before. And the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. No, okay. I just want to make sure. I want to see if any of these cards were repeats, but they're not. Okay, perfect. Sorry, Pisces. So, I'm showing Six of Cups right away. So, Pisces, this is somebody from your past. It could be your faraway past or a recent past. This is definitely someone from your past. The Six of Cups can, can represent, and I believe, hold on, let me just put this in this kind of an order. I believe it's a card of Scorpio. Let me see real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, the Six of Cups is a card of Scorpio, okay? Now, when this card comes up, this could be, you know, like I said, it's a past lover coming back. It could be an old friend. So it could be, you know, someone that you were lovers with and you consider an old friend. Um, this is even a friends with benefits card, okay? So maybe it was someone that you were friends with, and, and but it was a little bit more. It was more of a, maybe a situationship or something. But this is someone who makes you feel uh, a little nostalgic. You might be missing somebody or this person might be missing you. Hmm. Yeah, because something had ended with the Ten of Swords card of Libra, I believe. One day I'll know these all right off hands. No, see? No. Gemini. Card of Gemini. Okay? 
with this, with this, this is like the very finality of a very bad situation. I mean, the end. It, it, something ended. Something ended and it ended really, really, really badly. Um, this is where something hit rock bottom in a situation. There was some kind of backstabbing uh, or betrayal, some kind of drama. But it definitely was uh, a card of severing ties of something. So you and this person had a separation. You, you parted ways, but they're coming back or, or you want to come back to them. One or the other. Hmm. Because what I'm feeling here is before, before. Remember when I said somebody was that night of cups reversed and, and I was like, you know, that's a really nasty energy, but they're coming back. Excuse me. Reverse and turning into the king of cups, right? We got now the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And when he's reversed, this is a card of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who, you know, was unstable. Just like before, they broke me. They may have broken promises to somebody. Um, they, just like before, they're non-committal. That's, and that's what I have to remember with the Knights. And it just kind of hits me. Whenever they're reversed, it's really non-committal. Because it's right before the king, and the kings always commit. So when you get that knight reversed, this is non-committal. This is somebody who, who may have been obsessed with money. All they thought about was money. Maybe when you were with this person, either you just focused on money, 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 or they focused on money, 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 money. But that's what this energy is. It's somebody who's unstable and non-committal, and all they talked about was the money, money, money. Okay? That's the energy showing up. But now, just like before, when... This person is coming in as in reverse now as the Knight of Swords, which now this flips this back up for me. Okay. So now this Knight of Pentacles becomes somebody who wants to make your wishes come true. Okay. And I'm laughing because the Knight of Pentacles is normally a slower energy, but it don't even fucking matter because he's paired with the Knight of Swords. And when the Knight of Swords comes in with something, oh, get the fuck out of the way. You understand? So it almost trumps that slow energy. With the Knight of Swords, that's a card of Gemini. It could be a Taurus. Okay? So he comes in quick. I mean, this, this, this is going to take somebody by surprise. So you may be taking somebody by surprise, Pisces, or they may be taking you by surprise, but something's going to come in very, very, very quick. This is something of a deeper commitment, okay? This is like a big, big change coming towards you. And it's so funny because at the bottom of the deck, it is the Eight of Wands, which is fast, rapid communication, something coming towards you quickly. So this is going to be beautiful. And what makes it even more nicer, you have the Star card, this is a card of Aquarius, okay? The star card talks about hope. I mean, if you want to be specific, somebody could quite literally be a star or be in the spotlight, which I tend to think that might be the case, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But this is hope. This is inspiration. This is a wish card. So this is your wishes coming true. This is all positive. This could be someone who's dealing with their own self-care or their self-growth. So they're elevating a little bit, okay? But their goals are coming within a reach. Now, the last card that I got here, which is why I said I think this could actually be somebody who's in the public eye to a, to a degree. Because the last card I got with this star card, let me just, so I want to get the sign with it right here. Yes, six of wands. This is a card of Leo. Okay, when it's upright like this, somebody gets a lot of attention. They're in the spotlight. See how she's got an award in her hand? This somebody's winning, winning, literally winning at everything and anything that they do. This is somebody who's getting recognized for, for all their accomplishments. That's why, you know, she has her, her trophy. Um, but this, this is also a fame and a celebrity card. So when I see it paired with the star, Pisces, you could be somebody who's famous or in a celebrity status or the person you're dealing with could be in the spotlight to, or, and is going to be, you know, or somebody famous or of a celebrity status. You both could be, who knows, but that's the energy for, now again, it's not going to, it's not going to be everybody. Everybody this is resonating with isn't going to be a celebrity, but there's going to be a select a few that this will resonate with. Somebody between you and your person is in the spotlight. They're either a celebrity or an up and coming celebrity. But regardless, this also means there's hope. 
for this this union okay pisces there's hope someone's going to be getting attention somebody's going to be successful somebody's going to win i don't see anything negative with with this reading this is a beautiful reading pisces Because every time there was a negative card, it was right next to side by side with a positive one to balance it, which to me, that's beautiful. So again, it could be your energy, the other person's energy. That's why I say someone, someone, someone. You got to put it where it fits. I want to do one more thing. Hold on. So, you know, if, if it's, if it's, you, if. It's you, sorry, Pisces, that's been thinking about going towards someone from your past. This is telling you this is a good, great thing. This is going to be a good thing. Somebody's a little iffy about it. Someone isn't unsure about it. Someone's very unsure about it with that four of cups. But all in all, it's a very positive union. As long as, you know, the people do. I, I'm a big believer in do what you say. Say what you do. You know, no, do. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Thank you. Say what you mean and mean what you say. So, yeah, people just say, what it, this is, I've got no negative energy from this. But this is definitely someone from your past, from what I'm seeing. You know, a past person, someone that has, it, there's nostalgia attached to it. So it's not somebody that you just dated like, you know, six months ago or something. This is somebody you've known for, you know, years. Okay, Spirit, what does Pisces person think about them right now? We know somebody wants to go towards somebody and, and somebody's going to be unsure about this whole thing. So, Spirit, what does Pisces person feel about them? Let's see. Let me see what your, your person feels about you, Pisces. Oh. Well, we're on the right track, Pisces, because the Knight of Cups came up, which is a card of Pisces. Okay. Um, where's my pen? Let's see. So we have the Knight of Cups. What they think about you, they think you move slow. All right. They they know you like they know that you like them, Pisces. They know it because it's that saying it, it's what they think about you. And it's and like this is a card of having a crush, a secret admirer. So they it's almost like they know that you are into them. Yeah, I'm trying to say it right. But yeah, they know that you're into them. It's almost like they know you want to come towards them. That's exactly what I'm feeling with, with this Knight of Cups. They know. They know and, you, and they know you're being fucking slow about it. Serious. They know. That's, this is exactly what they're feeling about you. We got this Two of Wands. This is a card of Aries. This is reversed, though. They feel like, uh, Pisces, your person feels like you're holding on to some anxiety. They feel that you're being very detached. They feel you're emotionally um, voided, uh, voided. Like you're kind of cold emotionally, maybe, that you're stubborn. But they also feel like there's some lies that are going to come out. Because this is a card about lies being exposed. So maybe they feel like there's some lies that have been exposed or that are going to be exposed or that you just that you lie. I don't know, Pisces, but this is how they're feeling about you. Then we got the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, this is a card of Leo. Could be Cancer. That's another Leo card. So, again, could be a king. Remember, so it's who I'm talking to. But Pisces, they feel that you could be manipulative at times. Um, catty, another, like, yeah, petty even, petty, petty, thank you, spirit, that's the word that came in my head, petty, that maybe you could be a little bit of a drama queen or drama king, that you are flaky, you know, this, this person feels like you break promises all the time, that you're just flaky, They feel like you have low self. I keep, I'm being, oh, I'm starting to stutter. I keep being pulled 
to your person feels like you may be suffering some some low self-confidence or low self-esteem i'm sorry i'm being kind of pulled mm. that i kept getting pulled to the low confidence low self-esteem that's all i kept seeing flashing so that's gonna likely resonate with somebody i'm sorry i'm sorry okay let me keep trying to go through this three of pentacles that reversed pisces that is a card of Capricorn. So they see you as somebody who, who <laughs> there's no commitment. There's no growth because when it's upright, that's teamwork. They feel like there's no commitment with you. There's no growth. And they feel like you had them in a third party situation. There's three people in this card. The guy's looking down at two women. It's reverse, third party situation. Pisces, I'm going to start crying for you. Now, they have all these negative thoughts. Now, I'm starting to wonder, Pisces, they may be the person of that, in that four of cups energy going, I don't know. I don't know. and Because they, they keep seeing just that cup is half empty instead of all the good stuff. So, they, I have a feeling your person, Pisces, is the one in that four of cups uh, uh, energy. But we got, well, after all of that shit feeling about you that they're feeling, at the end of the day, they see you as their two of cups. Pisces, that's a card of cancer. They see you as like their soulmate, their twin flame, their soulmate. They see you as their balance, their yin to their yang. They see you as, as somebody that they want to have a partnership with. They see you as, oh, this is beautiful, as pretty much oh, that they want this mutual union with you. So that's how they see you. They see you. If, even after all of that, they still see you as that two of cups, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Let's see what you think about them, Pisces. That was sweet, though. I don't know. I thought that was really sweet. I'm going to get emotional on you, Pisces. Let's see what your person's thinking about you. No, you're thinking about your person. Sorry, let's see. What is Pisces thinking about their person, spirit? Please and thank you. What is Pisces thinking about their person? Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, let's do this. A couple more, please and thank you. We didn't you oh whoa, that's funny. Okay, hold on. I think I had six cards for you, so I, I, I can't remember. So I'm gonna pull two more just in case. Make it even here. Oh, that one flew out. Oh, okay. This is almost like that last one where it surprises me at the end with this with this craziness. Okay. I can't. Pisces, you guys are so fucking cute. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is what you're thinking of your person, Pisces. Now. I love this because I think we just had this. Yeah, this is what, when they, we, okay. What they thought of you before was the two of wands reverse. Remember I said that's someone who's like, um, someone that's detached and, and they feel like lies that you're a liar. Well, you're, you're seeing them as the two of wands upright. So you're seeing them as someone who has options someone that might be at a stalemate and trying to make decisions you may think they have somebody else and and you feel like they're trying to make decision between you and another person or something but you feel like they're out there just with options you see them as the knight of cups reversed this is a card of pisces could be aquarius but you see them as someone who doesn't love you back it's like an unrequited love they may you may you see them as someone that's broken your heart pisces This is ironic. We're getting a lot of Pisces cards here, which is that just validates a lot to me because we got the hanged man, which is a card of Pisces. So this one is talking about, okay, it's what you think of them. Okay, so you're seeing them as someone who is is a kind of sitting back because with the hanged man, he's just sitting back and he's kind of reflecting on the situation and he's looking at things from each angle. 
each angle, each angle, all different angles to make sure that they make the right decision. So you might be seeing a person as someone who um, is reflecting and they're pausing right now. Um, th there's not really an outcome. They may see you as somebody that's just, just pausing. And ref I don't know, maybe you're just step back, someone who's taken a step back. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords is coming up in the reverse position. So you see your person, Pisces, this is a card of Gemini, as someone who um, released themselves from an, an entrapment because this is a mental entrapment. You got it reversed. So you may see them that they finally had some strength, that they found the strength to release themselves, that they may be getting a fresh start. That's how you're seeing this your person. Pisces, as someone who's maybe getting a fresh start. All right, we got uh, the chariot. This one's coming up reversed, caught a cancer. So you might be seeing um, your person that you're blocked, that they're being, you know, you're blocked. Something's blocking you to your person. An obstacle. You feel like your person uh, is kind of slow moving, that maybe people have been talking to your person. You may feel like people have been doing this to your person and they're being influenced. Maybe your person's being influenced by other people. Yeah, that's what I pulled on that. But this is what made me go, ah, oh, just like when at the end of the day, your person still saw you as a two of cups. Damn it, this is so sweet. Pisces, at the end of the day, you see your person as the star card of Aquarius you see them as hope you see them you literally see this person Pisces as inspiration they make you feel good they make you feel positive this person you may feel like when you're with them that they heal you because this is a card of healing so you may feel healed when you're with this person okay you may see this as someone who's who's just growing and she's abundant and inspirational but you this is beautiful pisces look i don't know who's the one uh, oh, oh that's what i wanted to tell you and then at the bottom of the deck pisces you see this person as your ace of cups i'm like tripping right now this is a card of cancer pisces or scorpio so this could be about you or you, you, you may be dealing, there's so much water in here. I, I think you might even be dealing with a water sign, Pisces. But either way, there's a lot of Cancer. We have some Scorpio too, a lot of Pisces, but a lot of cups, okay? A lot of emotions. So you may see this person as your everlasting love, okay? Really, they, they bring you so much passion. You may see them as just like continuous abundance and abundance is everything, love, money, just everything you've ever wanted. You see this person as new beginnings. You feel like this person is a, is a good person to build with, to have fresh starts with. This is beautiful, Pisces. I'm just going to pull some, I'm going to end it by pulling some mermaid cards and then leave it be because this is an absolute beautiful reading. I think, you know, this is probably one of the best readings I've had in a minute. I think Scorpio had a nice one a few weeks ago and I have to do Scorpio soon too. <clears throat> But most of my readings after that have been kind of funky. This Pisces is a beautiful reading. Let me go ahead and pull some mermaid cards and see what our beautiful mermaids and sirens have to say regarding this union. That, will you please let me shuffle the fucking card? Okay, so I'm not reading any of these cards reversed. Whatever comes up, that's the way it's going to be read. So mermaids. Messages from my beautiful Pisces about this wonderful union that we're discussing right now. This is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I'm envious in a good way. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, no, we're not doing that whole chunk of cards. Just, 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 not. just a couple. We don't want a couple messages. Please and thank you. I'm just going to pull in this one right here. Let's see. Right. Okay. We have mystery. T 
to me, what I'm pulling on it, I'm feeling like someone's worried. They're worried about what the outcome is going to be. If you're the one that that wants to go towards your person and you're the one that's kind of afraid because you're afraid because you don't know what you maybe you're afraid of rejection. Maybe you you know, you don't know what they're going to say, but somebody's afraid of what the answer is going to be. And maybe it's the other person who knows that you want to come forward and they're thinking what the fuck does this person want? Cuz they may have a little bit of PTSD, you never know. No. A little PTSD, but mystery somebody is uh, unsure because they're not sure but they're waiting somebody's waiting somebody's waiting to do what they have to do this is almost like the hanged man card they're just sitting and waiting they're reflecting making their move getting ready to make their move but someone's gonna see the light someone is definitely seeing the light in this situation and understanding what they need to do i love this i love this we're gonna leave it there pisces thank you for letting me do this for you i hope you have a blessed amazing new moon Sorry, my roommate came to drop off my cigarettes. <laughs> I love you guys so much, Pisces. You have a blessed, abundant new moon. Make sure you're doing those manifestation rituals. Joy, justice, love, and blessings to each and every one of you.